Welcome back, it's I'm Stricken, and today is going to be a really quick review on a toolbox, but it's for your weapons or for your guns. So let's zoom in on my toolbox and I'll show you guys around. Alright, guys, so technically this is a tackle box. It's by a company called Plano. I'm sure you guys know of them. They do a lot of different uh, uh, cases and stuff for firearms. But this happens to be a tackle box I picked up at Walmart. I believe it was around 40 something bucks. And it comes with a lot of these trays here, three of those. One on this side, and one on this side. And it's a fairly large uh, uh, tackle box. Here's in comparison to my phone, you can see how tall this thing is and how wide it is. It's a pretty large box. But what's great about it is that it will grow with me. So there are a lot of empty spaces currently where nothing's being filled in. But like I said, it's going to grow with me. So starting off at the top, it's got these nice secure latches that are really firm. They're not flimsy latches. Got a nice grab handle up top. As I showed you, these two cubbies. And when you open up the top lid, it's got a nice row back here where I have uh, my hoppies and oil. I also have some dividers for those cases down in there. I have an AR-15 tool wrench, I have a soft face mallet, I have a smaller little hammer, a bunch of rags, um, and oh, these are the instructions for uh, the Glock sight tool adjustment, or the adjustment sight tool. Uh, like I said, I have, you know, just basic some of these little uh, dividers for those trays up here. And this is just going to grow with me. So moving on down, what I have... On the first row, and I labeled everything, I have a cleaning kit. And in the cleaning kit, I have obviously different brushes and things like that. Um, I have a boar snake. I have some uh, patches. I got a couple blanks here, uh, the snap caps. I got some more oil, uh, boar mop, and some brass brushes. And put that back in. Here's an AR-15 parts case. What I have here is some old grips I removed, um, some scope rings, a uh, Picatinny rail, a very small Picatinny rail, um, some flip-up sights, some uh, attachment for a sling. I got a laser uh, bore sight tool, a uh, chamber indicator, a flashlight, um, OEM sights. They're uh, A2 style sights. I have uh, some batteries and some Picatinny rail uh, ladders. And the one down here, it's a pistol one, empty. So it's still working on it, still building this kit. It's going to grow with me. I fully expect it to uh, last for a few years. On the side here, I have tools. I've got roll pins, all different sizes. Crayons, obviously, for filling in stuff. Uh, punches. And I got like a dentist picks. All different. I picked these up at Harbor Freight for like two bucks, not even. But these are cool because you know you can attach different things like, um, you know, you could uh, pin um, your stock, for example. You could pin um, uh, magazines if you know if you have to if you live in one of those states. Uh, so I, I do like those roll pins. You can pick those up at Harbor Freight as well. And I believe this one's empty. Yes, also another empty one. So this is model seven three two, and you can pick this up for I believe. 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that, um, at your local Walmart, and it's an absolutely awesome one. The more upscale version of this, all of those cases inside, those white clear cases, will become waterproof. They have a watertight seal on them. And the back over here will have, I believe, like a net contraption hooked up where you could slide something in. But honestly, I don't need these to be waterproof. I don't really care. It's not that serious for me. This is not on a boat, as, say, a tackle box should be. So thanks, guys, for watching. It's I'm Stricken, and I am out.